What's up guys, DZ here, and uh, I don't know if you know this, I don't know how you would, but my locals got shut down in Grand Rapids, so my friends and I have been bouncing between different locals to see if any of them are, like, not shitty. Um, today we went to the Kalamazoo locals um, in a shop called Fanfare, it definitely was shitty. Um, there were, like, 26 players, and, like, if you went undefeated, you got $9 store credit, and if you went X1, you got $2 store credit. So I drove an hour to pay $5 to get $2 store credit. Um, so it was a big waste of time, but I played this deck, which was kind of fun. Um, I just kind of threw it together. I didn't feel like playing Chronomaly on the way over there. So I just kind of, I didn't have a lot of cards on me either. I just had like Chronomaly and like Shadow Volcanics. So I just like threw together Volcanic Artifacts and uh, I actually had a lot of fun. So we're going to take a look at what I was playing. Um... And once again, it's kind of just a work in progress, but it's actually a lot better than I thought it was. Not fantastic, but pretty cool. Um, so three rocket, um, three shell, three scatter shot, and then two firestorm guards. Honestly, I'd consider cutting this to one. Like I never wanted to see this in my opening hand ever. And like I don't know, it just seemed like a lot of the hands where I like had this in the first couple turns were like really brick really bricky um there's a lot of like when you're playing an engine like volcanics you already have a lot of brick cards and then when you play artifacts you have a lot of brick cards so like i don't know if royal firestorm guards is really helping that issue um and then we played two mermelo um i didn't play any dianiax didn't have any on me but i think these were just fine um maybe i'd consider playing a, one dianiax but i don't think i'd consider playing three mermelo um like, these were good as, like, a first-turn card. Like, outside of the first turn, like, these didn't really do anything. The Artifact is just the six that I've been playing um, in pretty much every deck that I've played Artifacts in, because I think, I don't know, I think you have to play three Scythe, two Beagle, and one Morale Tech. Um, I like the two Beagle. Sometimes they clog, but generally I like having two. Um, and those were just, just fine. Um, and then I just played one Ghost Ogre. Because uh, I didn't really have a lot of cards on me, and I like didn't have a 40th card to put in this slot, so I just decided to play it. It was okay. I um, can't remember off the top of my head what I stopped, but like it wasn't terrible, so I guess that's something. Um, three Ignition, kind of important. Um, one Instant Fusion. This card was like garbage. Um, I don't know, like this deck just doesn't have a lot of level 4 monsters, or like it, I mean, it does kind of like it has seven but like it doesn't have any ways to like put them in the graveyard very fast so like i think like one time i drew this and like there were only level five monsters in grave and then like another time i drew it like i only had shells and scatter shots in grave like I, the most use i got out of this card was like activating it to summon a norden not revive anything and then tribute summon a scythe like that was the most use i got out of this and that's not really very good um, so I might just cut this card completely or like, I don't know, bump it up and then maybe play like Panzer Dragon in the extra deck. Cause there were like a lot of times, yeah, like the, the biggest thing I missed from playing Chronomalies was that I didn't have like, like a lot of the times you start your turn with like an artifact monster and you don't have a way to make a rank five. So like, I really missed, uh, Chronomaly Golden Jet. Um, so maybe I'll play like instant, more instant fusions than like a Panzer Dragon or some shit. I don't know. Um, one Magic Planter, that was okay. Um, then one Regeki, which was fine. I don't know. I don't really like Regeki right now, but sometimes getting over big boards is tough. Um, I played three reload, obviously. Like, these clogged super hardcore. I don't know why. Like, I opened... Like, there were a lot of times when I had, like, three of these in my possession at the same time, and I was, it just was bad. I don't know. Um, three Sanctum, obviously, like, one of the best cards in the deck, if not the best standalone card in the deck. Um, always want to draw that. Uh, three Call of the Haunted. These were like, I don't know. Like, they're good when you open well, but there were hands where I would draw, like, sh just shells and scatter shots, and then, like, multiple Call of the Haunteds, and it just didn't help at all. Like, I think you have to play these. And, like, I even played, like, one Oasis. Like, I think this is definitely worth cutting. Um... Like, these cards are only good once you get your engine going, because, 
Like in Chronomalies, you can actually like use these to bring back your monsters and like do stuff, but in Volcanics, you really can't. Like you're only using these to bring back the artifacts. Um, so like they kind of clog if you like don't draw your artifact cards. Um, for our trap holes, we played two time space and a bottomless. Um, these were fine. I cited out one time space quite a lot. Um, but I think to start out with it, it's fine playing all three of them. And then one warning, which was, I don't think I ever drew warning actually. Um, it wasn't that long of a tournament. Uh, the extra deck, I didn't really have a lot of extra deck things on me. So this is just what I played. Um, we played one Pleiades, uh, one Durandal, if you can see that. Um, made those quite a bit. Um, never made Volcasaurus, never made Shark Fortress. You probably don't have to play this in this deck, but like, I just didn't have a lot of extra deck cards on me. Um, one Castell, one <laughs> Gem Knight Pearl, because I didn't really have anything on me. Um, Dweller, Emerald, didn't really make any of these guys. I think I made Castell once. Um, Ragna Zero, this was just in the Konami extra deck for Gargonic Guardian, but like, I don't know, I didn't really go into it, didn't really matter. Actually, the guy that I made the most, I went into, uh, Ptolemus a lot. Um, I was playing Ptolemus and Diamond, just because I didn't have stuff, and like, this is probably what I made the most of anything. I think I'm, like, three different times, I like, made this in a fence, attached to Diamond, and then made a Pleiades or a Durandal on my opponent's turn. Like, that play's really cool. Like, I've been siding these for a while in a lot of my decks, but, like, I don't know. I think these are really cool, and obviously, like, a lot of people are going to be playing them now that Infinity is coming out, but, like, I don't know. I was really happy with how these cards turned out, considering I just kind of threw them in there. Um, one Gaia Dragon. Never made it. Uh, Stardust. Never made it. If this was a scrap, I would have made it. Yeah, there were, like, two different times when I want to make Scrap Dragon, so maybe I'll throw a Scrap in here and then one Norden for the Instant Fusion. And if I had played a Panzer Dragon, I would, probably would have made it a couple times. Side deck was kind of booty. Um, the two Maxis that went out of the main deck, two Lancias, uh, one of the Ghost Ogres that went out of the main deck, three Magical Springs. Never really sided into those. Like, this deck really can't play Magical Spring very well, but, like, I didn't have any side deck cards, so I just slept the side deck as is. Um, three MST, two Iron Wall, and then two Malcat. Um... You followed me in Earth throughout this last summer. You know, it's like this is one of my favorite cards in Volcanics because you can like set like three, you can set like this and a reload and then like a real trap and like you use the real trap to like stop a play and then they like think that you, they don't like see this coming because you have like back row and then they just walk into it and it triggers the reload and stuff. But especially with artifacts, um, you can trigger the artifacts and the reload and stuff. So it's pretty cool. But uh, that was my. Locals experience went X1. My only loss was to Chase Cunningham, so I don't really feel bad about that. Um, we had a lot of fun, but uh, probably won't be going back to that Locals again because it was kind of a waste of time because of the shitty prize support. Um, but hopefully I'll find a new Locals to go to. Uh, we have like a new place we're going to try out next week, so I'll let you know how that goes. Um, and I'm starting up school on Monday, so I wouldn't expect a lot of content in the next week or so, but I will see you guys later. Goodbye.